design are but patches of color side by side and only make an effect at a certain distance. And that's exactly what we are doing here. So now let's go into color value. Color value is a very important concept to understand. We just looked at it and started noticing color value in those photographs, but you're gonna also have to notice it when you put these fabrics together. Color value is not absolute, it is relative. It is relative to the other things around it, to the selection of fabrics you made. But when you look at this more traditional like quilt, what makes it happen, what makes, you, what makes it look three-dimensional is the fact that it's light, medium, and dark fabrics. That's all light, medium, and dark. And the same with this one. So when you learn this concept, it's gonna spill over and make all of your fabric choices for all of your quilts better. If you have, a lot of times people tend to have a lot of fabrics in the medium because they're colorful and they're beautiful. But the truth of it is, those don't come to life unless you have light and dark around it in some way to make it stand out. If you have a quilt full of those beautiful mediums, it's still gonna look flat and it's still not gonna be impressive. And that's the reason why you need those light, medium and darks to create uh, something interesting to look at. And here again, we have all of these three-dimensional shapes that are formed by lights, mediums, and darks. This is my favorite. They even made a, a hollowed out 3D box with light, medium, and dark. So you got in the in your package, you should you should have received a value isolation tool. And I'm going to show you how that works because it you know, you can, you can sort your values by using a photocopy machine, and I like that technique, but I really like to use the value isolation tool method because you need to see it with your eyes as well. A lot of times, you don't have, well, most of the time, you don't, you're not sitting at a, in an office and have a photocopy machine, um, but you can do it this way. So it, the first thing I would do with a whole selection of fabric is put them in order from light to dark the best I can without being too rough on myself. Because it's, it, we're gonna break it down into small, easy to digest, easy to answer questions. One question at a time is simple. One big question is not. So with them in order the best I could without worrying about it too much, going from light to dark in this direction my only question here, is this one darker than this one? What do you think? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes? All right, so if it's darker, then the only thing I need to do is move it over. And then I keep asking that same question. Is this one darker than this one? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, and I keep moving. All right, now is this one darker than this one? No. So then what do you do? Oh. you switch it around because the only direction for it to go would be in this direction if it's not darker so you just switch it around and you continue along until the end 